Back at it here at Shamrock FC 318 live from River City Casino. Up next, it is Peter Lucet taking on Chris Lorenzo. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the cage Chris Lorenzo. Coming to us by way of absolute martial arts, it is Chris Lorenzo. Now, he considers himself a traditional martial artist in the style of Thai Jitsu, but this camp was full of fundamentals for the world of mixed martial arts. That's extremely important, Sammy, to go back to the fundamentals in any sport of this. For sure, you want to you want to do with uh, just be well rounded in the sport of MMA, right? So that's what it sounds like. And his opponent, Peter Lucent. Coming to the cage by way of Gorilla Guns MMA, it is Peter Lucent. Now he sports a perfect 2-0 record into the world of mixed martial arts. And he told me that he's always training. There's no such thing as a camp for them. As we go to our supplement superstore, tail of the tape, Peter Lucent, 20 years old, 5'8", 134.6 pounds. Chris Lorenzo, 26 years old, 5'5", 133.4 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest is a mixed martial arts bout. Scheduled for three rounds in the Shamrock FC lightweight division. Introducing first on my right, fighting tonight out of the Metro by T-Mobile Blue Corner. A mixed martial artist, this hands five foot five, official weight 133 even. Fighting out of Afton, Missouri, Chris Lorenzo. Sitting across the cage, his opponent fighting out of the Metro by T-Mobile Red Corner. This fighter stands five feet, eight inches tall. Official weight, 134.5 pounds. Fighting out of Waynesville, Missouri, Peter Lucent. <laughs> Referee Dwayne Best has the call for this contest. Chris Lorenzo in the blue tape, Peter Lucent in the red. Both of these guys extremely athletic. Coming out, coming out trying to kick, huh? Well, Chris Lorenzo, as I said, comes from that traditional style. He's got his hands very low. We'll throw some flashy kicks coming into this, as we saw that opened up the door. Both of these guys look very athletic, though. Very, very well, yeah. Look calm in there. But Lorenzo worries me with this because he fights with his hands down low, very traditional martial arts style. As we see Lucer working for a takedown, not able to get it. Get working to keep that head pressure here in the corner. Using that head pressure, dropping his knee. Oh, nice. Big left hand there out of Lucid. They look physically fit in here too. They looking like, like they've trained and had a great training camp, both of them. Lucid here trying to work the feints, more traditional kind of kickboxing style here. I'd like to see some shots, you know, but that's me. Lorenzo fights very sideways, it's very traditional. The problem with that is you almost see the wind up to it. He's got a lot of switch Ooh, dance, throws yes. an overhand right. Use the cage. Use the pressure, he needs to get his legs stronger, further out, drop his hips. Yeah, there you go. Loose it, work it, getting that head position, nice breaks pick. down, nice. gets an ankle pick. Nice, to a double, nice. Using the head pressure, trying to get to the side. Locking those legs up, trying to step over into the side control position, We've got that. Use that now cage. he's using to drive through. Nice. Big knees to the body. Steps over, gets the knee on belly, starts to drop the bombs. Drop that, drop that knee down. Way to close it off again. Got extended, brought his leg back in. Uh -oh. Now again, he's good positioner, drops the hips down, steps over into full mount, comes right back over. Didn't feel right. 
Action again right in front of the booth here. Loose it inside control. That side mouse where he wants to be. Now we see Chris Lorenzo getting back to half guard. Nice pressure here out of Lucid. Keep him against Gage, pressure. Lucid wrapping up that underhook again, looking to drop down for the pick. 10 seconds remaining. Big welt on that left leg. Big knee to the body there, out of Lucid. Looking nice to try to wrap those hands up. Nice, Good nice first round. round. Lorenzo has a big, uh, big welt on his left, left leg. Knee, you know, from the knee kicks. Now what we saw in that first round there, Peter Lucid had the most control out of what he was looking for here. Now, when you keep the pressure on like that, he's got good head position in the corners. That's where he needs to stay. Chris Lorenzo trying to play the outside game, trying to keep those kicks up and keep it moving. But what we're seeing here is Lucid will throw that overhand, duck under, come through the shot. And I felt like Lucid was stay, staying patient and steady. So he, he stayed patient, patient and steady and, and closed the distance slowly because Luce, Lorenzo, Lorenzo feels kind of awkward to him. So I think the space has to close that distance. And once he did, he, 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 you know, he controlled the match. Second round of this three round contest. I think Lorenzo's unorthodox style. He has to be patient and controlling it, coming in. Yeah, the problem we have though with the traditional guys is as you see, he fights with his chin a little bit high. Yeah. And basically what you're seeing is you wait for Lucid to kind of throw the feint, wait for the kick, and then he drops under to take him out. Right. It's hard to be patient sometimes like that, though. A lot of feints here out of Lucid. Nice right hand finds a home. Again, he's fainting with the left. Big Ooh, overhand, nice though. Double, nice double leg. Got hit, got rocked, and he just fell into it. Didn't like that. Chris Lorenzo ending up in full guard here. Did not like that. That was a great reaction. Nice work there out of Lucid to survive that big uppercut. Gets the takedown again, locking up that position here. Using the cage. And that's a terrible position to be in. It's, it's painful to have your head up against the cage and ground on like that. We see good head position here out of Peter Lucid. Keeping that top pressure on, not giving Lorenzo any motion here to swing out, trying to swing for an arm bar just there. Oh, gotta be careful. Can he lock it up? Nice. Lucid just kind of powers out of it. Very fast hips, though, they're out of Lorenzo. Lorenzo's comfortable here, so gotta be smart. Yeah, he did really well there, but he's got an overhook on the left side. He really needs to try to work for an underhook to get some movement. Underhook's are your friend, be it MMA, be it wrestling, be it judo, doesn't matter. For sure, controls, controls everything, right? They're gonna bring it up if he doesn't start working here though. Lucid has to do something. Yeah, referee Dwayne Best giving him a warning here. If they don't see some movement, they're going to stand him up. And I think Lucid's trying to be, uh, be a, little, a little safe, cautious here, don't you think? After uh, that, you know, most definitely. Yeah, definitely. Almost got locked up. So basically strong on his way out. Down to 30 seconds remaining here in the second round. Referee yeah. Dwayne Best has seen enough of no action. Going to stand them both up. I agree with that. Oh, I hate stand-ups. <laughs> I think you should let them work no matter where they're at. <laughs> I just hate when they're not doing anything. 10 seconds. Big side kick there out of Lorenzo. Lorenzo's but starting to find a home with his, with his range, huh? He looked more comfortable that round, for sure. 
definitely looked more comfortable. The problem was he spent over half the time on his back and not doing anything with it. But I he, think did, he, he did he, have that arm bar attempt. He's definitely dangerous enough to, you know, end it with one kick too, so. Oh, most definitely. For sure. Ring girl Whitney doing work here at Shamrock FC 318 live from River City Casino in St. Louis, Missouri. Jeremy Johnson along tonight with my partner Sammy the Bull Henson as we go back to our instant replay. Big uppercut there out of Lorenzo, fought a home on the chin of Lucid, but Lucid takes the shot and gets the fight straight back to the ground. Lucid's definitely controlling the, controlling the pace, controlling the fight. Third and final round. Oh, oh you took it with that. That was surprising. He took it though. A lot of DNA flying all over the cage <laughs> after that one. That hurt me over here. Didn't seem to phase him. Big oh, overhand for from Lucid. Nice. Got, got behind him. Arm, kind of an arm drag. Semi arm drag. Got behind him, he's smart. He wants to go to the wrestling. He wants to make this a wrestling match. He has to. But he's got to be careful on top too, right? Yeah, we have seen some pretty decent submission attempts here from Chris Lorenzo. If I was him, I'd get a wrist control right there. You know what I mean? See how his body, see how he can pop back up? You get that wrist control like the last fight, it's harder to come back up. Big knee there into the thigh. Just like, dragging that, yeah. gets the back, trying to get it. No hooks in though. Try to throw it in too fast. He didn't flatten him out a little bit. Try to jump into it. Huge Ooh, knees to the body. Good. They're out of Pruitt. Can't take too many of those. Pruitt here working that shoulder position. He's right where he wants to be. Comfortable here. But he's got to do stuff. Those knees to the body have to hurt here. Lorenzo trying to work to get back to half guard. Yeah, Lorenzo does not want to be letting him have the side mount at all. Yeah, Lorenzo's got to try to dig an underhook here. He needs to really get that far side underhook and try to stand back up. He puts his back on the cage, gets the far side underhook. He can walk his back up the cage. But Pruitt's doing a good job here of just holding him down. But the way that Lorenzo is on the ground right now, he's got nothing that he can use to get up. Peter's, Peter's position, just, just keeping him, you know, every, every, he has an answer for everything he does. He's not letting him back up. The only way this fight's getting back up is if the referee brings him back up. Lucid here on top Tying position. Nice. Controlling the wrist nice. there. Nice, wrist control. Now he's trying to lock up a Dars choke. Rich, rich, that wrist control set this up, right? 30 seconds remaining. Yeah. He's going for it. Again, once, trying to work for that position and now. Once again, risk it. You know what I mean? Smart. Yeah. Ground and pound coming here with 10 seconds remaining in the third and Ooh. final round. Still fighting. Great fight. Great fight. Beautiful fight there here at River City Casino. Peter Lucid putting on a clinic on how to stay in top position. Both men were in great shape. Both men gave everything they had. I just think Lucid had more risk control, more body awareness, and took his time, and really took his time in gauging, um, gauging Lorenzo and what he had to offer. As we look here at our instant replay, a lot of feints there out of Lucid. It, basically, he uses the feint to set everything up. Gets Lorenzo guessing. A 
Again, thank you for joining us on Facebook. Please go over to flowcombat.com and join us for a rest of our great night of fights. And let's send it up to the cage to Joe Parisi to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we turn this one over to the judges' scorecards where we have a unanimous decision. All three judges this evening have scored this bout 30-27 in favor of your winner out of the red corner, Peter Lucen. Making it 3-0 in his mixed martial arts career, Peter Lucent gets the best here of Chris Lorenzo. A great fight here at Shamrock FC again. Please jump over to flowcombat.com and the Flow Sports app on Roku and Apple TV 4 for more action to come. And we'll be right back right after this.